Mandalorian wanted to make his dream real. Not just in his dream anymore. My dream is to like, I just want to bring these cars back. That's all I could just say. We all believed in John's dream. Just epitomizes a future look for automobiles. It's kind of long, it's low, it's sleek, it's got the wing doors. Driving this car is like being in, a, in the cockpit of a, of a fighter jet, combined with maybe a spaceship. So the advertisements live the dream. It's a brilliant marketing campaign. But unfortunately, it was really a bad time to come out with a new car. This is a screw up. Nice screw up, but this is a screw up. In the realm of collectible cars, it's like the butt of the joke. It's the greatest near miss in automotive history. A lot of people ask, you know, what's the typical DeLorean owner like? What's the DeLorean community like? And boy, you know, you can't just put a finger on it. They're wired somehow, and they have this streak of individualism to them. It's the official dork car, but I love that. <laughs> You'll find that most of the people that own a DeLorean own it because they saw them back to the future. You know, it's a one car for persons walking down the road. They absolutely know you may have 20 very expensive cars set up next to you, but the DeLorean is the one they recognize the car. That people have actually call up here in sincerity, wanting to know if they can go back in time. Oh, I literally spent all day and all night building the time machine. I have to have everything perfect somewhat of a fluke, but there is enough parts to build entire cars out there. Anybody going to be nuts to keep this amount of stuff? <laughs> People call up and make noises into the telephone, and I tell them what's wrong with their car, and they go, Ooh. tap, 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 clunk, clunk, and I hear that noise a lot. Well, the DeLorean owners get together for all kinds of meets and clubs. I thought it would be full of lunatics. The owners were not lunatics at all. The fanatics might be, but not lunatics. I love these people. It's kind of like a lifestyle in a way, you know. You, you own a car, you're, you're part of a, a little family. And we can have car problems at any moment in any location. And we've really never been at a loss for help. We're in Central Illinois. Las Vegas. In Florida. In LA. Texas. In the center of Belfast. Christchurch, New Zealand. The best thing is you, you meet people from everywhere. And wherever you go, you find friends. Living the dream is really owning the car and sharing it with others. It's history on wheels. You shouldn't be afraid to go after your dreams. When can I, when can I start driving? <laughs>